Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. A third grade teacher has N boxes, each containing 12 pencils. After the teacher gives uh, P pencils to each student in the class, the teacher has T pencils left over. Which of the following represents the number of students in the class? All right, well, you might have noticed something about this problem. Uh, it's really hard, right? It's not just you. This is, a, this is a tough problem. And what makes it so tough is the fact that we have these variables floating around the answer options, right? We have variables in the question here, and then we have variables in the answer options. And so the problem is very vague, right? It's undefined. But that's a double-edged sword. The good news is, because it's so vague, we should be able to pick any number that we want and, it, and it'll work. It'll carry through into the answers. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to decide that this teacher has two boxes. So I'll say n equals two. Two boxes, uh, each containing 12 pencils. So after the teacher gives, I don't know, let's say, I want to say five pencils to each student, right? After the teacher gives five pencils to each student in the class, the teacher has four pencils left over. So T equals four and P equals five. Which of the following represents the number of students in the class? Well, we can answer this question for ourselves, right? Given the numbers that we chose. If I have 24 pencils overall, so I'll write it down here. I have 24 pencils, two boxes, each containing 12 pencils. Uh, I'm going to give five pencils to each student. And after I do that, I have four left over. Well, that means that I gave 20 pencils total to all the students, right? And the gap here was four left over, right? How many students then do I have in this class? If I gave five pencils to each student and I, and I gave out a total of 20 students, well, that means that there were four students. That is the answer to the question that they asked. So I'll write it right here. There are four students. The last step that we need to take here is plug the numbers that we chose into the answer options. And whichever one gives us the number four, right, answers this question, that's the winner. What's nice about this is you don't have to think about it very much. You can just pick numbers, see what happens, and then match the answer option. Try out your own numbers if, if you don't buy this. All right, so 12 times 2, we'll start with A. 12 times 2 is 24 minus T equals 4. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. Well, that looks pretty darn good to me. Let's double check the other answers just to be safe. 12 times 2... Uh, 24 plus 4, 28 divided by 5? No. 12 times 2, 24 divided by 5 is a decimal. Done. I uh, can't have a decimal number of students. Uh, 12 times 5, uh, uh, yeah, 12 times, uh, 12 times 5, so that's 60 minus 4 uh, divided by 2? No, not 4. And then 12 times 5, 60, again, way too high, plus 4, 64 divided by 2? 32. No, the only one that works is answer option A. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.